Hey, did you know that Wish sound effect is one of the most popular sound effects that creators all over the world use? And today we're going to be learning on how you could be pro on sound effects and transitions. So this is going to be a quick video on sounds and transitions. So in here you will learn on how to add any sound effect onto any transition that you want. For now we're going to be using the sound effect called Whoosh and I'll tell you where I get the sound effect from. I use a few different websites but in here I'm just going to talk about one of them. So I'll have another video in the future to tell you guys what other websites I use for my sound effects that I use on my videos. And oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I come with a lot of different tech videos for you guys as well as some tips on there for you. So go ahead and check it out. The link will be on the description box below. So let's get started. Hi, what's up? This is the Tech Girl 007 here teaching you all about the tech whether they are tech issues, reviews, tutorials, unboxing and much more and that all in one right here on this channel right so when using a sound effect you have to be cautious of what transition you're going to be using it with so if you go to Filmora 9 you guys know that I usually use this software for my editing so let's go on to transitions and the transition that I love to use all the time is this one blurry roll 2 and you might have seen it on my recent videos so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to use this like a pro so first of all I would like to import a file so I click in here and I'll select this one I'll bring it over to the timeline in here so the thing about transitions is that when you're putting a transition on and especially if it's it's getting you from one video to another then it's, it's best for you guys to actually have your cursor where the two bits in the video change so I'll have it right about here so the left side is where one scene actually ends and the other one starts okay so that's the whole point of doing this transition so this wash transition on the first scene we've got the ipad in here and then the next one we've got the phone so as soon as you see the phone that's where you want to put the cut right so let's put a cut in here so i'll press on Control b on my keyboard so you'll have a cut in here so it's like a split so this is splitted and we got this one in here right okay now let's bring our transition in so you have to be clicked on either of these videos it doesn't matter so let's bring in the blur row 2 in here so you click on it and it should automatically drop in here so another thing that I would like to let you guys know that I always would like to have this transition over both I'll show you how it is when we don't have it over both of them but first of all I would like to show you this one for now right so let's go and play this first and see how this works so now i just want to mute the sound on these clips so they don't play while i'm playing this for you guys so it doesn't distract us so let's play that again once more time so that we are sure what we're doing in here right there we go now on to our sound effect and in here I'd like to take you to a website called free sound so this is one of the websites that I use and as I said previously I do use a few more websites but this is the one that I'm gonna be showing you guys right now right and let's see we need the wash sound effect right in here whoosh it should just bring it for us and we'll play this i think that's what we want and we'll download this right so if you click on it and you, you i've got the option for download in here but you may not have this option it's because you need to actually sign in you need to create an account so that whenever you come back in here you can always download it for free and like you don't even have to sign in again if you choose to keep or save your password on the computer all right so i'll just show you guys quickly how it is so you'll have in here two options register so that's what you want you register it's pretty simple you give it to username email password and like you'll just say that i'm not a robot and create account that's it and you may also have to verify your email address okay and obviously if you're already a member then you can just log in like how i do usually 
and so as the same suggests it's completely free you can use it on your youtube videos with no problems so let's go ahead and download this with sound so here we go it's downloaded in here if we just open it in folder we know that we are in download folder So now we've come back to Filmora 9 and let's put that Wush sound effect under our transition. The blurry roll to transition. Right, so if I go to media, I double click in here and if I go to downloads and then we've got the Wush sound in here, I'll bring it over, double click on it and it's here. Right, so we need to make sure that we are on the sound track. And for this to work like a pro, we want to make sure that we bring our cursor right at the start of the transition. And then making sure that we are on the audio track, we'll click on the wash sound effect and we'll just place it in here. And now we'll try to play this. I'm going to bring in my microphone right in front of the computer's speakers right so here we go now let's play this in full screen All right, you can see that there's a lag in there. It's because we need to actually render preview this clip. So we'll go in here, we've got like a play button in here with a circle around it. And then we'll just say render preview. Okay, so this is happening. We need to wait until it gets to 100% and then we'll try again. So now it's got 200% and let's try again. Okay, so I think that was perfectly enough. And let's try this on a full screen. You see, that was perfect. All right, so I think that was perfect and that's how I do mine, all right? And now let's go and see if we put this transition on the clip itself. It could be on any of them and see how this plays without the sound effect. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you have it on either of the clips. So you see it's just transitioning from the current clip back to the clip that's on. So like it doesn't make sense that way. It's always best to have it on top of the two clips that you want to have transition on. All right, so with that said, I will hope you like this video. Don't forget to follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter where I have loads of tips for you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you in some ways. If you're a new viewer, I would love to have you on here and hope that you subscribe and press on that bell icon. However, if you are a returning subscriber, please share the word by liking and sharing this video. Oh, and by the way, I do have some videos on the description box of this video and all of my playlists listed are there as well. Take care.